So uh, one question I've not heard you answer is, do you believe that the previous interrogation techniques were immoral? Senator, I believe that CIA officers to whom you referred. It's a yes or no answer. Do you believe the previous interrogation techniques were immoral? I'm not asking do you believe they were legal. I'm asking do you believe they were immoral? Senator, I believe that CIA it's did extraordinary yes no work to prevent another attack on this country given the legal tools that we were authorized Please to use. Please answer yes or no. Do you believe in hindsight that those techniques were immoral? Senator, what I believe sitting here today is that I support the higher moral standard we have decided to hold ourselves to. Can you please to. answer the question? Senator, I, I think I've answered the question. No, you've not. Do you believe the previous techniques, now armed with hindsight, do you believe they were immoral? Yes or no? Senator, I believe that we should hold ourselves to the moral standard outlined in the Army Field Manual. Okay, so I understand that you're, you've not answered the question, but I'm going to move on. So I understand that you, from previous answers, are serving as the authority over whether or not CIA information concerning you will be classified or not. Given an obvious appearance of conflict, will you agree to recuse yourself from the responsibility and the authority to make decisions about whether or not that information will be classified or, or not. Will you agree to recuse yourself of that responsibility and authority? Yes or no? Senator, I am following the guidelines that exist at CIA, and there is another cl declassification authority. It's called the IRO. I have not Asked, interfered with well, Do you with believe that you have the authority to recuse yourself? I'll take that for the record. I, it, I, I may have the authority to recuse myself. Assuming I'm not a lawyer. Do. I don't, I'm not sure about that. Assuming you do, and I believe you do, will you agree to recuse yourself from the responsibility and the authority of making decisions about what CIA information about you and your record will be classified or declassified? Senator, if I had agreed with the proposals that have come up to, because people thought it would be advantageous to me, I think I would have been um, abdicating my responsibility to follow the rules that everyone at CIA follows. Okay, and you also in this hearing have a responsibility to ask, answer the questions that are being asked of you. I'm gonna ask you a different question. Do you would you agree that given this appearance of conflict or potential conflict around the classification or declassification of these documents, that would you agree that Director Coates instead should have the responsibility for declassification decisions regarding your background? Senator, I think one important thing is that this committee plays a unique role to review the classified record. And we have sent over every piece of paper we can lay our hands on about my classified record all of my evaluations over a 33-year career. And I hope every senator has had the opportunity to look at that classified indeed, material. Indeed, I have. But and there I are... have another question for you then, because it, I only have a few minutes left. I only have a few seconds left. Uh, the president has asserted that torture works. Do you agree with that statement? Senator, I, I, I don't believe that torture works. I believe... Uh, that in the CIA's program, and, and I'm not attributing this to enhanced interrogation techniques, I believe as many people, directors who have sat in this chair before me, that valuable information was obtained from senior Al-Qaeda operatives that allowed us to defend this country and prevent another attack. Is that a yes? No, it's not a yes. We got valuable information from debriefing of Al Qaeda detainees, and I don't, I don't think it's knowable whether uh, interrogation techniques played a role in that. Thank you. My time is up.